All right, Lauren. All right. Two Metro Detroit high school football teams battling it out on the gridiron tonight, as is often the case on Friday nights, but they both scored big. That's because from the field to the stands, it was a sea of pink as thousands turned out to support the fight against breast cancer. Local Force BC O'Neillieri was there and joins us live from Washington Township tonight. BC, talk about a colorful night for Romeo and Fraser high school football fans. Oh, Carmen, it most certainly was, you know, whether it was a t-shirt or a pink neon necklace like the one that I'm wearing here tonight, it was all about pink. Over 7,000 people turned out for tonight's game, and it's an event that far exceeded expectations. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. It's high school football Friday with the Romeo Bulldogs taking on the Frazier Ramblers. For one game, both teams setting aside school colors to unite for one cause, the fight against cancer. And I'm just proud to be here and just in support of everyone else too, all the other survivors and even those that lost their fight. From t-shirts to socks, the color pink radiating from the stands to the jerseys and the names gracing the players' backs. Every name bearing a story of strength and hope. Sharon Dinsmore is living with breast cancer and tonight she's part of the team. Um, the coach is a friend of ours and when he asked me, because he's gone through cancer and he knows that I'm going through it right now and uh, it, it, it touched my heart, it really did. An emotional ending to an inspiring game with each player handing over their jersey to those they played so hard to represent. Raising money and awareness for a disease that touches so many. School spirit doesn't get any better than this. My mom is definitely a breast cancer survivor. Uh, I'm happy to have her around. As a kid, she went through leukemia, and she's uh, the toughest lady I know, so yeah, I love her very much. And tonight's fundraiser, they raised over $75,000. Now all of that money will go towards cancer charities. Um, what's also interesting tonight, you know, I heard over and over again that this is really a, an event that was put on by not only the students, the staff, but a lot of businesses in the community. So a lot of people around here walking pretty proud. And in case you're wondering, Romeo beat the Ramblers 38 to 14. Reporting live in Washington Township. I'm oh, BC yeah. the There was a game, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> now, BC, the fundraiser was such a success. Do you think this is just a one-time event? Yeah, I asked the athletic director that tonight, and he said, yeah, this is the first time that they've done it, but it's likely going to become a tradition. All right. Well, congratulations to them all. Thank you, BC.